Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are on a six win streak, baby. That is, that is something special. We haven't played a Zack in quite some time. Um, Mammon we haven't really played as in a while either. Icarus, Icarus is, Icarus is a character that personally I'm just not a huge fan of. So I haven't played as Icarus all too much. Mastemo, I feel like we've leave, left out Mastemo. Let's go with Mastemo. I feel like we haven't played him in a little while. And he has some pretty fun unlocks. Um, I can't remember what we've done as him so far. So maybe, maybe we'll do a mother run. Maybe I'll forget. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. What is something, question of the day, what is something that you're always forgetting? What's like, like, I know some people are really bad with names, really bad with, like, locations, geography, places. Like, what's what's your thing that you're just planetarium on the first floor? Alrighty then. So, we, we actually did Hush to Delirium last time. So, we can go anywhere we want, really, here. Uh, so, let's check what we got in here first. I mean, Hellfire is insane, so we'll definitely take that. Um, I'm hoping I don't die here, taking Hellfire that early, um, or, or any deal, honestly, for that much is pretty scary, but Hellfire is pretty insane. Uh, it's actually one of the first times I've ever had Hellfire early in a run. For those of you that don't know what it does, it's part of the Something Wicked mod that you can find on my Discord. Basically, when we hit an enemy, there's a chance that it will um, detonate into a brimstone. The caveat to that being that when it does that, the enemy doesn't die when it dies. Uh, basically, the enemy will, like, stay alive for an extra few seconds, meaning that it can add some danger to some rooms, and I believe it does scale on luck as well. Um... Nice chest here. Now, I don't want to touch this chest here because it could... Come on now, game. Really? I'm going to have to touch it, aren't I? Yeah. Um, I was going to say I don't want to touch it because it could cause some issues if it does damage to me and I could lose my eternal heart and I really don't want that to happen. Um, easy kills and all of those. Good, good. But yeah, Hellfire, really fun item and especially if we can build a run around it. Now, one thing I'm unsure of is if Hellfire actually... Um, actually triggers any tier effects that may affect brimstone i'm not sure if it's just brimstones as it is or not it seems that the base chance is reasonably low now it used to be real real high but the more luck upgrades we can get the better we do have golden keys now so we can hop back over and um do this but yeah in terms of the question of the day what i was talking about um ooh, we got um that's actually so good damage up for each explored room um Special rooms give higher damage. 10% of the damage gained becomes permanent, moving to the next floor. Immunity to Curse of the Lost. Really, really good. Um, I mean, our character looks amazing now. But that's just really good in general because um, we get it so early on. Of course, they're pretty useless now. Uh, we get it so early on that we've got so much chance to build that damage bonus high and high and high. Oh, I'm going to take some damage here. Oh, no, maybe not, maybe not. Got lucky, got lucky. Yeah, unfortunately, until we get a little bit of luck going, Hellfire's probably going to be a, a once in every now and again, not a an every room sort of thing. Now, I don't know if it has a health threshold. We're going to lose that, yeah. Damn it. Please don't take any more damage here, because I am on the precipice, looking over the go- Oh, no. Oh, no. This is such a good run. Don't do this to me, game. Okay, it can trigger on small enemies. That's That's good. That scared the hell out of me. Um, okay, and we got a good item out of this as well. Not the greatest here, but we did manage to get a heart out of this anyways. And I will go down this way because I said I would. It's annoying that you can't, like, it'd be cool if, like, giving this guy a golden key would just, like, straight up give you his payout. That'd be kind of interesting if it worked that way. Um... Puts us in a bad spot for trading HP, but otherwise not too bad. And we gained a good bit of damage there as well. Uh, but what I was going to say is I don't know if Hellfire can trigger off of smaller enemies like flies. But it clearly can because it triggered off of those uh, dips there. And it, they were even dips that um, spawned via a boss, which is even more unlikely to have occurred either way. So we have an XL floor here. Good to know. Oh, yes. Baby. Baby, but I was very, very scared in that boss fight, as you may have been able to imagine. Beautiful. And as you can see as well, it's kind of like a theme where it can uh, it can trigger off of another trigger. So um, you can get some really, really crazy damage chains going off of it. Now, like I said, the one problem is it does keep enemies alive for a, an extra amount of time, which could certainly spell trouble for me, because um, I could end up killing an enemy and then... Uh, 
essentially it being able to fire an extra shot at me now oh my goodness this is a pretty hard room here um i'm gonna hop in here and not exactly what i was hoping for but it, it kind of works out i'm just gonna quickly pop that open Ooh, actually okay nice managed to level up the rock a little bit Really, all I was hoping for, all I was hoping for was a black heart. That was it. That's all I wanted. My goodness. Couldn't, couldn't do me a kindness, could you, game? Right. Prayer card. Unfortunately, shops are just not viable for us to gain HP as this character because of how shops work as him. Uh, so we are in a, a risky spot in that regard, so... Gotta be a little bit careful. I will pop my prayer card, even though I can easily lose it. It does give me an extra hit's worth of damage if I get hit by a champion, so... Or if I just get hit by a regular attack. For, for such a good start to a run, things really ain't going my, my way right now. Thank you, Hellfire. I can't remember what you do. I know that you lob piss, but I can't remember how. Okay, you wasn't so bad. That's pretty good. That's a lot of keys, baby. Of course, I've not looked at my item. I, to be fair, I was going to say I've not looked at my item room yet, but I don't have the health. Realistically, I should look anyways, because we could get, like, sin robes or something. Um, that would be a kind of a saving grace right now. Uh, crack the sky? What the heck? Not great. As you can see, luckily our damage just keeps on climbing. Uh, also, we get our damage up from, uh, from exploring special rooms too, which I didn't even think about. Um... Good, good. I really should be taking pills just in case. Can you calm down, little thing? Tears up, speed down. Honestly, pretty damn happy with that. Kind of forgot there'd be a second item room here. Oh, God. Really? There's another... Oh, this is a really, really bad room. It's very, very hard to discern where the tears from these guys are actually going to land. Ares, unfortunately, not really getting the sort of stuff we need here. I'm going to I'm gonna take a risky gamble here. We only have one bomb, but one soul heart could have been all we needed to, to do some good stuff there. <laughs> right. Things ain't going so hot here. We're not... Both of our item rooms are kind of out of the question now. Uh, we ain't even going to get another eternal t uh, eternal heart charge, which is super upsetting. The spaghetti is thoroughly upset. Um, I also don't have any way of killing this guy any quicker. And this guy is a real bastard, man. Oh, you fucking bastard. Just kill him. Just kill him. Please give me a health up. Please give me a health up. Ah, that guy hell fired. Just, just, just who do you think you are, mister? Who do you think you are? The spaghetti is upset. Truly, because I am, that this is not going the way that I would have hoped. I just wanted a health up, my guy. You couldn't have given me that. And why with all the bosses that dash and charge all over the place, please? All the ones that I find it incredibly hard to avoid. Luckily, our damage is carrying us right now. And we are going to get another Eternal Heart charge here, which is kind of lovely. We did get PJs here, which is very lovely. So, the question now is, do I take... By the way, I'm not doing white fire on either of those bosses, so you can heck off if you think I'm doing that. Um, I will have to grab the, the, the uh, knife piece, though, but the question is, do I want to take any of these randoms? Because Ares is just meh. I'm going to gamble on this and take this. Do you know what? I'm actually not super, super sad about that. Doctor's Remote is fine. Um, it allows us to have extra bombs, essentially, so... Really not that bad of a grab. Uh, so... Oh, this is gonna be rough. This is gonna be rough. This could be really, really rough. I'm just gonna take the gamble. I realize we could lose this beautiful run right now. But 
risks have to be taken. I'm hoping it's just this room to the right here. I honestly can't remember what most of the enemies we've got going on here are. Dude, these bloody bouncy boys are going to get me deaded. Oh, good E. Even a little bit more money, which is fairly useless, but there you go. And we've got a second layer of these guys to go. Again, these shots are just so random that I could easily hurt myself here. Luckily, I am fine. Please have the, the piece that I need. You little bastard. It's the other goddamn room. The one that's a lot further away. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. It's so much further away. So many more rooms to go through. I mean, the good thing is we could get another charge out of doing this. The bad thing is I could so easily get hit. Another charge isn't even that valuable, even. I just realized. It's not really that that useful for us. I think just taking that gives us some flies. Yeah, this could at least clear a room for us. Okay. Thank goodness you killed that guy in a speedy manner. Okay, this all this all went better than expected. Whew! My little bumhole is puckered. God damn. I am scurred. <laughs> oh boy. Anyways, we've managed to make it through. We've managed to make it on our way. I'm going to hop back over here. And there's no point popping our prayer card, really. We might as well pop it on the next floor because we're not going to get any bonus out of using it right now. Um, I think we just skibbity skibbity hop down to the next floor. Of which I need another bomb for. Didn't think about that now, did I? Bollocks. Um, damn. <laughs> Didn't think about that. Shit. Come on. There is a bomb for sale. Unfortunately, I'm going to pay a whole ass heart for it, which is slightly depressing. Um, needs must. It's what's got to be done. And we, we step on to the motherland. Down we go. Okay. Okay, all is not lost. We are still in the running for a, a decent run here. Not quite sure what's going on with you, but I'm hoping that Hellfire kicks in here and uh, does some business for us. But so far, not so good. These, these guys are kind of a nightmare. I was about to say, I don't know what the last version of these guys do. They hippity hop around in random directions and lay fire everywhere. I think I just hell fired that fire. It started ticking. Interesting that that's a, a plausibility. These little shooty boys, um, they can hit me very, very easily. Also, don't really know what to think of uh, the boomerang heads here. But I'm sure whatever my thoughts are, they should be negative. Because they look kind of tough. They are moving in ways that my brain fails to comprehend. Now that is something that I don't care about. Unless it works with Doctor's Remote, then I'll care about it a little more. It doesn't. Good. Okay, this is, this is rough. This is rough! Fuck you, you slimy little boomerang-shaped bastard. Fuck off. Leave me alone. That is a double Aquarius, my lad. My lad? My lad. I'm going to take a double Aquarius. I don't think having two of them does anything for me, but it's golden. Can you not, like... Like, could you, could you ever disagree that if it's gold, you have to take it regardless? It's just the law, isn't it? Prayer cards back in business, baby. Yeah, all all a little spicy here. All of this is I'm I'm basically just hoping at the moment that Aquarius pops off. And honestly, I think we're one 
um, one planetarium item away from Spurred. If we'd have taken Ares in that previous floor, I believe we'd have gotten Spurred. Um, which would have been pretty nice. Probably should have gone for the champion there, but what's done is done. Okay. Keep this moving. Is that a tinted rock? It looks... It definitely is a different colour. It is a tinted rock. Good shit. Wasn't quite sure. I've not seen a tinted rock on this floor before, so... It's a little hard to decipher. But yeah, it definitely was a different colour. And I was indeed correct in assuming that. Okay, so there's a few clickety-clack bodies down here. Now that's what I like to see. Oh, yes. Oh, it just keeps going. That was so satisfying. That was so very satisfying. Right. Unfortunately, we don't have any bombs to, to play around here, so we'll, we'll have to get another charge for our Doctor's remote before we get the ability to, to do anything there. Ooh. Gotta say, don't like the prospects of this room. Um, I see you over there, my guy. I do. Not really interested in what you're selling to me. This is why I'm not interested. Look at you. Un momento, por favor. Doot, 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 doot. One second. Right, let's keep it moving. Right. So health-wise, things ain't super great right now. That's a little bit of a helping hand, I guess. Oh, God. Okay, so these buttons just drop shit on you. I don't want shit dropped on me, please. Um, do I want to get those stone chests or do I want to just go for the boss? I think I want to get the stone chests, to be honest. You little fucker. I was like, maybe if I strike in the middle, it'll hit both. No, it will hit neither. Thanks, game. I'm blaming you for that game. Right. I'm going to have to do this just for the charges. Hellfire on that guy. Hellfire on that guy. Beautiful. Don't know what these bombs in the ground are, but I'm assuming they're not good for me. They're just kind of, kind of like little mines. You can hellfire the bombs. Hilarious. Okay, so sadly, only getting one of these chests here, but I'll have to just be okay with that, I guess. Ugh, wasn't even worth it. How could you, game? How could you? Okay, Gideon isn't so bad. Unfortunately, these enemies are quite annoying. He has picked some of the most horrible enemies. Luckily, they do chase me, which means that uh, my creep is actually going to do some good damage. That's all of them dead, right? Thank you. Ooh, we've got some of these bastards. All we need is a few hellfires, though, and things really start to pop off quite quickly for us. So we don't have to worry too much, especially on the uh, later waves where there's more enemies like this. Sadly, not a single... Uh, we're going to get hit by a rock here. Yep. Had a feeling that was coming. Oh, dude, dude, dude. Oh, that was very close to chasing right after me there. I would have been a little bit miffed if that had hit me. What the... These ghosts... Be easier to kill. What the hell are these little things? They're cool, but goddamn they're scary. There's so many of them as well. Fuck. Don't you dare. Oh, crap. That was close. The last wave of enemies. We got some toughies as well. Don't really know what to expect with some of these. That's really good. Look up with Hellfire is good stuff. Um, 
And oh, then goodness. Angel or Devil here. I guess Angel, because we're already getting Devil items. Rosary for a heart is honestly well worth it. Thank you. Um, we also got a Holy Mantle out of that for just for going here, I guess. Um, pretty happy. We don't have anything else to do this floor. Let's go. Okay. Good shit. I'm happy. Obviously, Rosary means the Bible could show up. But I'm kind of okay with that prospect. Oh, that was actually a pretty good hit on me there. Good on you, fella. I mean, I'm glad I had that Holy Mantle to help me. Help me get by, but that... Not too bad. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, Hellfire should hopefully proc a good bit more now. It doesn't scale as crazily with luck as it used to, but it still does scale with luck, so... Either way, it's good. I'm always going to check out the shop regardless of the fact that it costs uh, HP to buy stuff. Probably should maybe donate. I'll leave that till Mausoleum, though. Gotta remember we've got to give away two hearts to leave this floor to the Mausoleum, so... I'm hoping to get Gehenna so we can see the new boss, to be honest. There's a new boss in Fiendfolia that I still haven't seen, which is a real shame because it looks pretty cool. Don't know if I can kill these with a, a bomb, you know. Nope, I can't, but that's fine because, uh... I mean, for one, Hellfire went off and did some good stuff for us there. But we've got a crawl space anyways. I like the way that he managed to Hellfire, and it literally didn't fucking kill him. <laughs> that's so funny. These guys are so cute. They unfortunately do take quite a bit of time to kill, though. Apparently hitting with a bomb does knock them over, though. That's good. Right, check down our crawl space here. We got the switch, which could give us a good amount of money. Unfortunately, it's just not something I really care about. One sec. Right, let's check out item room. See what we got going on in there. 2020. Oh, that's a lot of HP to give away, but that is so worth it. Now, all I've got to do is... Okay, thank goodness. I was going to say throw this right, and I didn't throw it right. We did lose one damage for that, but it's hella worth it. I don't know if it if, if having 2020 would affect Hellfire Chance at all. I doubt it because it's on enemy death, right? Probably shouldn't have picked up that key there. Little bit of a mistakey poo on my on my behalf. Okay, these enemies are gonna be very annoying to deal with. Okay, the Hellfire gets him as well. Wait, what? I managed to Hellfire that guy somehow, and I have literally no idea how I didn't even kill him. Really? That bomb went exactly where I intended it to. What, what on earth is this guy? Whatever this is, I don't... I don't approve. Can you go away, little tear? How, how do I stop this? You sat off for a rock, my guy. I can't kill you. Okay, you finally gave up. Damn it. Missed out on a bunch of coins there, but... Brimstone pigged. Get fucked. Get fucked. Now, we're definitely going to have a lot of money to donate here, so we should try and do that if we can. Oh, what the fuck? See, that's, that's one of the issues right there. There was a spider left alive there that was hellfired that I didn't even know was alive because it should have been dead. Okay, these guys aren't so bad. What boss we got this time round? Luckily one that this does a good job of. Oh, shit. I forgot the Doctor's Remote gets the 2020 effect. Very, very nice. Makes that significantly better. Creative room with a golden troll bomb. I like it. 
We got anything else to see on this floor? I don't really think we do. I think we just want to get out of here. A little bit of a high cost to pay, to be honest. And by the way, I know that I didn't grab the knife piece. Um, that is intentional. I have a mod that means that I don't have to grab it. It'll appear at the end of this, uh, of the second floor on Mausoleum. Um, which, in my opinion, is far superior because the knife piece chase is, for one, kind of boring once you've done it a thousand times, but also incredibly laggy when you're playing on a modded save file. And I mean incredibly laggy. It's it's kind of insane. Now that, that's how you clear a room like this. That was beautiful. Now, yeah, biggest issue right now is my health is just atrocious. Retro vision. One sec. All right, keep going. My, my friend's just messaging me at the minute because they've just started playing Dicey Dungeons and they're like, you need to play this game. And honestly, I've considered it. Dicey Dungeons seems like a pretty fun game. It's just, I, yeah, just not tried it yet. And I don't really know why. It's not something that I've uh, had sort of, I, I've had it on my radar, just not I've had it on my list of games to play. And yeah, I don't, I don't, don't really know why. Um, rooms like this are very horrible. Because we got all these little dudes behind the pillars that are doing their own thing and firing shit at me. Yep. One of them managed to hit me. I was just about to say, I I would love to uh, donate, but if there's a, one of these machines, I'm totally going to play it to get soul hearts. So, I really need like three, maybe four, maybe even five soul hearts. Maybe even 11 or 12. Maybe even zero by the looks of things. This game's racist. Oh, uh, actually, that's a Hierophant, so... But, like, not a single actual Soul Heart drop, though, which is nice. Slot machines have a 75% chance um, of not exploding when bombed. How exactly does that work? Oh, shit, I see. Okay. All right, even. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. <laughs> okay, finally blew up. Does that work for these as well? Oh my god, it does. I mean, blood bag that early. You can't be mad about that. Not bad at all. Good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay. Not quite sure what's going on with this room, but I want it over quickly. Oh god, those tears were all over the place. This guy's scaring the hell out of me. Shielded Tears is probably the one that I want here. With 2020, that seems pretty darn good. Took that battery for the complete wrong thing there. Abandoned box is kind of good. Oh god. Oh hello. You're a boss that I haven't fought in a while. Can't really remember how you work. It's looking like Shielded Tears does a very good job of neutering you though. Don't really know what's going on here. Okay, we got it. Spooky boss, but we got it. Mom's underwear. Ooh. Transfer a newly spawned item to be a duplicate of something you already have. I think we have to take that because it's such a fun idea. But that thing, Dad's Charm, is, is kind of insanely good. Kind of ludicrously good.
pop over this. What? Fuck you! I hate these enemies. So hard to avoid. Right, we've got that extra charge. That's mainly what I wanted out of this floor. I guess it's maybe worth checking the other rooms. Not really, but maybe. Go fly. Do your thing. Extra puzzle piece. It was worth it. Your fears will take something. Step back away from me, sir. I'm sorry, there's definitely enemies in here. Couldn't quite figure out where, but there was. Oh, Shield of Tears blocks the, the stones they throw. I would not have expected that. Would not have expected that at all. Managed to get myself a good amount of hearts here. Again, a few good hellfires here could go a long way. Sadly, we get no, no such luck. Hey, uh, this is exactly why I did this. I'm like, maybe we'll get more battery charges. Maybe we will, baby. Holy. Perfect. Prayer card coming in clutch. And I think this is the second to last floor we can use. I think once we get onto the corpse, uh, it only gives us half soul hearts. So, very worthwhile here. Right, let's get gone, shall we? We do have some hearts about. I guess we could try and play for another blood bag, but I'm not going to worry about that too much right now. I'm really hoping if we get a doubled item, it's a doubled 2020. Even like a doubled rosary would be pretty darn good. Um, and yeah, I think we just head on to the next floor. Nice little mother run. Slightly annoying enemies, but we got past them. I'm not having you spoon bender me. No thanks. No thanks, I'm full. But yeah, we've, we've managed to accru a cure a massive amount of HP now. Way more than I was expecting to have at this point. Experimental pill. Annoying enemies, but not so bad overall. Soul heart will most certainly take. Oop, did not mean to uh, push my way over the other side there. Oh, bug it! Game's goddamn tricking me. Sending me silly. This is definitely a room for this. Hellfire should proc and it should just kill everything. Yeah. Beautiful. Worked like a charm. For the most part. I mean, a few boys managed to get away, but not enough to be super problematic. Honestly, Doctor's Remote, especially with a 2020 synergy, pretty fucking good. <laughs> Does a lot of damage. Very easy to aim at, at a distance. It's, it's all good, my dude. It's all good. It's all good. Hello, big boy. How are you doing? Um, turns up to two collectibles in a room into a choice between devil and angel items. Okay, I guess I just use this here to try and see what we get. I guess I want that. Good damage, at least. It's not insane. Like, it's not super, super good, but it's pretty good. 
Hellfire one of these guys, please. There you go, baby. And the cycle continues, baby. Right. We didn't find that item room yet. Let's keep on trucking. Try and find that. Shop isn't really super high priority, but I would like to donate if I can. Oh, God. Mega clotties. What the fuck? Okay, pressing the buttons downgraded them. That was pretty scary. They still have a lot of HP, though, these guys. That was a little bit spooky. A little bit scary indeed. Got some trinkets here. Ooh. Mystery paper? Missing posters in there. I have to take it. Let me see what my item room is first. See if we get a doubled. Ah, we got a double there. Uh, actually, that's plus luck. I'm going to take that. Also, our last puzzle piece, too. Puzzle. Which is Sack Dagger. Nice. I realize I could take Humbling Bundle here and it'd be pretty good, but... I'm going to refrain. Actually, should I refrain? It, 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 it can give us doubled soul hearts, so maybe I shouldn't refrain. Maybe I should just take it. Quickly go in here. Okay. PJs is well worth it. And Stapler is now also well worth it. See? Okay. This 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 trinket is bonkers good. But I have to take this because it's missing post that I could unlock the loss of this run. Not my ultimate goal, of course, but I, it could happen. Now, the question is, how do I know when it's duplicating missing poster? I'm going to have to Google this. One second. Let, let's go and find out. Uh, what's this called? Is it just, is it just called um, Mysterious Paper? Okay. Let's go find out. Um, Isaac Mysterious Paper. Um, on every frame, it has a random chance to grant the effect of one of the following items and trinkets. If Isaac does not already have the item trinket, then he'll be given the item, but only for that particular frame. That means that Isaac has the chance to go to the chest or dark room without the polar or the negative. He has a chance to revive as the lost upon death and so forth. Oh, God. Um, if this happens to grant the missing poster, it can be used to unlock the lost and will act as an extra life for both the lost and turn it lost. If this happens to grant missing poster, so is it a complete, completely random chance then? Is there no way that I can finagle it to, like, guarantee? Oh, God. I... I don't know if I can actually use this the way I wanted to, then. I'm not sure. Because, um... If it's every frame, there's no way of me knowing that I have Mysterious Paper. And therefore, if I kill myself in a sack room, it's just... It's it's basically just random chance if I get it or not. So it's it's a it's a pretty big gamble to be honest. Is it a gamble I'm willing to make? Is the question. I I'll, I'll see. We'll find out, won't we? We'll find out together. But it seems like this could be a, a big risk, and I not end up getting what I want. Good timing on that. Very good timing indeed. Doubled soul hearts already paying for themselves there. Up in here. Pascal Candle's probably worth it for the HP. Try not to lose our eternal heart in here. With 2020 here, we should be fine with uh, the Shielded Tears and stuff going on. Pascal Candle increase our fire rate even more, which makes Shielded Tears even better as well. Unfortunately, destroying almost all my tears, meaning I'm almost unable to deal damage here. So I'm going to push a bomb in and try and get some extra damage off. There you go.
really flies. <laughs> so yeah, it, every frame. Basically, it just means that I have to kill myself on a sack room and hope for the best by the sounds of it. Which, yeah, doesn't sound like the ideal way to, to go forth here, but it seems like all we've got. Seems like all we've got. Oh, that is pretty spicy. Especially with a double soul heart in there. Excuse me, little fingering boy. Don't appreciate your fingering of me. I've got a little bony boy look. Yeah, I only get half soul hearts now, no more red hearts. No more eternal heart, should I say. Guess I'll take the death card with me. That extra look is really helping quite a lot with that, isn't it? Don't remember what this guy does. Don't think I want to find out. This is a hellish room. Do you know what? I'm had, I've had enough of this. Stop playing your games. I'm going to say, with Humbling Bundle, we want to open up every chest because it could have a double soul heart in it. The chance that that mod that adds doubled soul hearts makes Humbling Bundle so much more OP than it already is. It's kind of insane. I forgot to donate, god damn it. It's fine, whatever. Extra soul heart there. That's just sucking it all in. Don't give a damn. We'll just go to the next floor and see if we find a sack room on the next floor. And then I'll think about killing myself. I'm just not sure, I'll be honest. I'm just not sure if it's worth it. Unfortunately, Freezer Baby does make Hellfire not great because they don't technically die, therefore they can't technically explode like they, like they should. Mm. This has a little bit of sauce to it. It's a bit spicy. Kind of like it though. Oh hell. He got me. Doesn't matter though, because I got you back. I am very confused as to what I'm meant to be doing right now. And which one of you are meant to be attacking? The horsey? I'm guessing the horsey. Oh my goodness, this is very difficult. One second. Right, let's keep her going. Yeah, this is a tough, tough, tough fight. God damn, that was tricky. I like the way his body falls over like that, though. Yeah, that's a teaser. Don't mind that. Um, and I think we just get gone here to the next floor, yeah? Yeah, I, I'm I, honestly, I'm so dubious with missing poster and what to do, what to do here. Like... I just feel like I know that I'm going to get screwed and I'm going to end up killing myself on the uh, sacrifice room and get nothing for it. Because there's no, seemingly no way to tell which, uh, which paper you have. Unless there is and I'm just absolutely stupid. But I have a feeling there isn't. Hello, worm boys. be another yeah i had a feeling another wave of them 40 hour energy nice extra soul heart there lovely certainly certainly don't mind that i okay, i faced the wrong way 
Pascal Candle kind of scales crazily as well here, so our fire rate's kind of nutty right now. Morbid Heart there that we don't currently need. Don't know what you do, so I'm going to take you out quickly and easily. It's not even most likely to get a sack room anyways, so... We might have had one on that last floor, but I didn't want to take the risk on the second to last floor. I wanted to do it on the last floor, so... That's, that's a lot of health right there. So here's the boss. I'll do a little fish around just in case, but I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty scared about all this. I feel like I'm just gonna end up killing myself and nothing's gonna happen. Um and you're all gonna be like, Turtle, you're an idiot. How did you not know this very well known little fact about Mysterious Page or whatever it's called? Like how dare you be this foolish? We might not even get the opportunity anyways. Although we haven't seen a single of the special room this floor, so it's certainly plausible. What is this thing? It just kind of sits there and does nothing. Lots of keys. Silver ring. A few spiders getting jiggy with it. The chain reaction is just beautiful. Extra eternal heart there, why not? Not that I'll ever need it, but there you go. Ah! Spooky skull. Not looking good, bees. Not looking good. Hello, fellows. Okay, I think that seals our fear. I'm pretty sure if a cash room spawned, a sacrifice room can't spawn. Yeah. We had an opportunity, but unfortunately, it's just going to be a regular old mother run. Hello. Trying to not get hit to keep my fire rate burners here, but we'll see how long that actually lasts in the mother fight. We've got one card there and another card. Both of them full cards. I was really hoping one of them would be like a strength or something. To give us a little bit of an oomph. Keep us going, but sadly, sadly not. Right. Let's at least take on the boss. Use my tears as much as I can to uh, defend myself. I'm getting hit and trying to keep my fire rate bonus going. Oh my lord, why with this attack? Why with this attack? So rare and such BS. But we gotta. Oh, one of our hands tried to hellfire there. Wouldn't have expected that. Good for now. Oh, nice. Managed to stun a during this. Is it Freezer Baby that's doing the stunning? I think it is, isn't it?
I always hate the way that lines like are really thin at one side. They're really thin and you can't see like the incoming. It's kind of annoying. Hey. No hit mother. Nice and easy. Gotta love it. The Raven's Beak has been unlocked and there you go. Nice finished run. That was a very, very fun run overall. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.